younger, right, Christmas was so magical. I would look forward to it so much. But I think the reason why I looked forward to it so much was, I mean, I believe Father Christmas was, like, real. We might to ask you a question in a minute about Father Christmas. I would really value your feedback. But I think the reason why I enjoyed it was, well, maybe I was a child. And I enjoyed lots of things when I was a child that I don't enjoy now. Like trampolines I used to love. I can't go on a trampoline these days because my pelvic floor muscles are so weak. I end up just weeing. I end up weeing, I do, because I've got no pelvic floor muscles after giving birth twice. But I would obviously, like, I don't give a shit about trampolines anyway. I, I, I have not got the energy for trampolines anymore. But my boys now are seven and nine. And I was thinking about, like, not just telling them okay father christmas doesn't exist but just maybe trying to have a bit of a conversation with them like asking them about like oh so father christmas so you know how do you think his sleigh actually flies like all around the world how do you think the reindeer like pull the sleigh how do you think the presents actually how do they fit down our chimney that's blocked at the bottom like because do you know what I feel like when kids are really young, like, it's great to have that magical, like, notion of Father Christmas. But, like, now, I'm kind of looking at my seven and nine-year-old, and I'm thinking to myself, like, are they not questioning Father Christmas? Like, are they not questioning it? Because they're not questioning this too fairy. And it makes me feel a bit like, should I be concerned about this? Because I want them to be critical thinkers, and they're just accepting of this notion of Father Christmas flying through the air. They're accepting of it. But yeah, I make them watch like Elon Musk SpaceX rocket launches with me. And so they know how much kind of goes into launching a rocket. So I'm kind of thinking, guys, 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 let's just not be so gullible. Let's just critically think this whole Father Christmas thing, you know, like, let's just think about it. Because what I really want is for them to ask me, and I can just say, do you know what? He doesn't really, it's not real. He made up, made up. Because I, I'm sick of counting on the bullshit. I am, and I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, what a shit mum she is. But I just can't be the only one thinking this. Like, I just, I think it's good for kids to have magic. They've had seven and nine years of magic. But I'm getting to this point where I'm thinking, do you know what? Wouldn't it be more fun to say to them, guys, guys, I've got a massive massive adult secret for you here but and the reason I'm telling you this is because I know both of you are, are, are at the point now when you are ready to hear this but don't tell any of your friends because this is top secret information for very special kids are you ready for this and then I would just tell them I wouldn't just say Father Christmas is not real I would say so you know Father Christmas so let's just think about this critically for a second like and then maybe tell them about the tooth fairy too and because as well like let's be honest here as a parent do you not want to get some appreciation for all those presents that you bought that father christmas gets all the credit for it's like oh thank you father christmas no thank you mum thank you mum and then also like i'm not one of these parents that are very like you know sneaky about oh i'll wrap all the presents from Father Christmas in like one wrapping paper and then all the other presents that mum bought in the other wrapping paper. I don't do that. I wrap everything up in the same wrapping paper and they've still never questioned it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm really keen, though, to get your views on this. I'm a realist. I like it. I like things to be real. I like truth, honesty. I'm very black and white with things. And I just question sometimes, am I maybe a bit too real and honest with my kids maybe I do need to just be like I'm going to just let them be kids a bit longer like I, d I don't know I would really appreciate your feedback I really really would um and I will read every single comment and really kind of you know appreciate your opinion on this so anyway guys I'm gonna go but I really appreciate you watching. All of these thoughts I've been like pondering just come to my mind and I, and I can voice them and it feels really good and it also feels like really good to be able to get your feedback. So anyway guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one and I will be avidly checking the comments hopefully. If you leave any, that'd be wonderful but I'm going to go. Okay, bye.